Welcome to Project Engineer, where every day we're building better project managers. This is our 10 part video series where we're covering the 10 knowledge areas that you need to know for project management. Welcome back to another video with me, Sarah, a certified project manager. In this video, we're going to talk about the knowledge area called risk. Now risk has seven processes, so it's heavy, just like integration. But the difference here is that it's planning heavy. There are a lot of processes that happen in planning. Let's get started. The first process is plan risk management. As you know, the pattern that follows is the output risk management plan. Again, there's no risk identified here. We're just determining how we will go about our risk management for the project. The next four processes in planning go hand in hand. Identify risks, perform qualitative risk analysis, perform a quantitative risk analysis, and plan risk responses. The names are very self-satisfying because in Identify Risks, all you're doing is creating a list of risks that could potentially happen on the project. To do so, you may want things like a prompt list because there are so many risks that could happen. Also, one thing to note here is that when we're talking about risk in project management, risk just means uncertainty. That means that it can be good or bad. The next process is perform qualitative risk analysis. So the difference between performing qualitative and performing quantitative risk analysis is that qualitative risk analysis is a little more subjective and we apply this to all the risks on the project. Performing quantitative analysis is more numerical and we do this for our medium or high risks only. And we put the low or medium risks on a watch list. We don't carry them forward. After we do the perform quantitative analysis process, we do our plan risk responses. This is where we actually identify how we will respond to risks if they occur. Planning the risk response means how we're going to respond to risks before or when they occur. There are some risks you want to avoid completely and there are other risks you may want to exploit and ensure that they happen on the project. There are a variety of ways to respond to risks. We can always accept or escalate them. We can avoid, mitigate, or transfer, or we can enhance, exploit, or share them. Also, you should note that every risk has a risk owner, which means that the project manager is not solely responsible for all of the risks that could occur on a project. Let's move on to executing, where we have implement risk responses. This is where if we don't want the risk to happen, we make sure we avoid it or if we want to make sure the risk does happen, we exploit it. Finally, in monitoring and controlling, we have monitor risks. In this process, we're gonna use data analysis and meetings to watch the sensitivity, volatility, and nature of the risks we've identified on the project. If the data requires a change request, we can always do so here. All right, that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We have a lot more videos coming up and you will start to see the patterns emerge as we continue through the knowledge areas. If you want to communicate with us, please go online to our website. You can find a page there to ask any questions or give feedback. You can also communicate with us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. And finally, if you want more information, since these videos are very high level, please go online, read the articles, or find one of our online courses to take. Also, if you're looking for project management software, you can go to our website and find Nebulome. It's free to start using. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next video.